Hey, it's Pike. Welcome back to Abiotic Factor. Today, I guess it will. I'm thinking about. Uh, I guess first we should go and finish off. Like the shipping area. Like the section we were going through, but we just still loaded up last episode. And then depending on how long that takes, we'll probably... I'm not sure if I did this on camera, but I swapped stuff over. I think because it's... I, I might have fought the robot off camera, I can't remember. But... While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying yeah, let's, down for I guess I actually need to rest. I guess we'll also check and see if we can actually drive down the ramp, maybe. Well, actually, let's not do that and not waste time. We'll check it when we're coming back up, if I remember. Feeling kind of laggy. Let me just check real quick. I have everything closed that I want to, right? Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like it should be fine. I guess that we are coming this way. I forgot to drop off since I was distracted. I guess we'll see. Yep, still busted. I was thinking for a second, like maybe we could set up a ramp and jump down. I guess that's something to think of in the future. Almost went off there. I guess maybe we could throw down some barriers there as long as it wouldn't like interfere with the elevator. Use our sandbags there maybe. Prevent this from rolling off. Check what's this? Maybe that might just be a hat. Oh, it's a grenade. Ammo. This isn't something that I can't use. It's not like I need those whatever arm wraps. I think I'm gonna go here. I think of the elevator in here is the best way to get where I wanna go. There's usually guys in here though. Guess not today.
I don't have my flashlight on me. I guess that's a mistake. Do we have brightness settings, I guess? Gamma. It's up at a smidge. Just put the 2.75. This is gonna look like garbage for the moment, I guess. Unless I like find a flashlight somewhere. Here's where I was looking for. We're on multiple layers, so let's just check this real quick, I guess, or just fall down. So annoying that I forgot my freaking flashlight. I think I might have it like charging or something probably. I guess I'll try and remember that it's down there. This is an interesting place to, to set up a base, I guess. Because you have all these things around here. And these are indestructible, I assume. Yeah. Sorry that it looks just so bad. Oh, see, that's how much would it help if I just max it out for the moment at least? Not that much, but I guess we'll just do it. And I'll try to remember. If I don't remember to do it, hopefully you guys could remind me. Well, that's just over there where we just were. Or 
for a second I saw that and I was like, why is there a cheese wheel up here? <laughs> I guess let's just go down again now. So I think that's probably most, if not all, of it. Yeah, the military electronics should be right down here somewhere. It might have fallen down. Oh, I guess right here. Oh, we forgot to drop that stuff off. What's our food like? Let's just. Eat this. Spawned in. At least one did. I would bring death. Oh, it's hitting me. This will just be the fastest. And I had a thought like, why? Like, I'll just, when we get there. <clears throat> Like, why is this portal here if it leads to manufacturing, but it's also near, like, that train derailment? Makes you wonder if this guy... It seems our research is not as secret as we thought. Is one of the bad guys? Like, one of the spies? Like, maybe he... set this up in secret? Warped through and blew up the train or something? I don't know. Because, like, why is that... Portal tech set up down there with like nothing. I guess it will. So I don't think there's much else to explore in this area, so we might go. Just keep it with the forklift. So we're not gonna. I guess another time, maybe next episode, we'll explore up there. But we'll go down here for the moment, I'm thinking. gonna park my forklift right here I think there's a sniper up there somewhere, and there's another one over here. Let me get through this door. Or is this from another side? Yeah, I think that's the sniper. And I'm not sure if the snipers respawn. Because I killed one in shipping, and other guys all around him responded, respawned. But the shipping guy didn't. And they can get here, or maybe some other area near here from below where the train derailment is. It seemed like there was a bit of a way to hop across. I'm assuming we probably can't open this door either. Maybe we have to come from the other side. Or not. Man, that's bright. Private note. 
It's undeniable that operations at Cascade are being monitored by external forces. This much, the Cascade Executive Committee have been permitted to know. Exactly who has been infiltrating our communications, and to what ends, remains unknown. Oh. Or rather, those who know, refuse to say. I've been directed to tell my team that we are conducting some security drills, but the threat seems quite real. I'm not sure if our traps, if we can trigger our own traps. Did I grab both? I just grabbed one. Email. What is this mess? I guess just intrusion first. I didn't want to raise it on the call yesterday, but you saw the security data, didn't you? We're being monitored. That much is clear. It looks like someone's been tracking a lot of our communications. Then why are you using this email system? I'll discuss it with you in person, or not at all. Theo, I asked you, I asked for your research on IS-28, and I received a box of random notes, papers, and photographs. What am I supposed to do with it? You're talking about a subdimension that is, to all intents and purposes, an infinite collection of notes. I sent you everything I had. This is a total mess. It's a work in progress. Remember, sometimes the only difference between science and screwing around is writing it down. Mythbusters said that right? It's like the quote. Though it seems like the words were slightly different. Isaiah, I'm looking at Eleanor's specs for the T3. We need to extend the sub wavelength limit of the lens, which takes a lot of silver for surfacing. Have you still got a stockpile? Fresh out, but here's the thing there's an almost infinite amount of silver in IS0138. That's where I've been getting it. Wait, you've been raiding the train for silver? Are you insane? What's the problem? It grows back. Be nice to be like maybe this, huh? Be nice to be able to click on this stuff up here to pull up stuff for what's relating to. So their back is turned. This door may or may not be locked. Let's set up our trap. It was like a precaution. So we can just kind of retreat back up here, hopefully. I guess maybe even throw the frag at them. <laughs> that effectively worked as a stealth attack, I guess. And that one shot him. That's nice. I guess let's just use this. This is just slow to breaking down bodies. I'm gonna create an ornate crate. Is there any way to activate this? Is this gonna be a way to like get through this door? Does not appear so. Scrap. Is this a vent cover? Or is it like a metal pallet? So let's break down this body up here. Man, this stuff's bright. 
Oh yeah, my brightness is still up. Probably that's probably not helping. Let's drop this down. We had it pumped it up to 75. So let's just put it at 60. That's a bit better. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was just pickaxe was just a bit faster at ripping on bodies because it's technically sharp, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw that one checking the wiki about it. It was like a sharp, heavy weapon. It's a sniper. guess we don't really need the military pack or this well it can be scrapped in the military scrap I didn't even know that that's something to learn about that's something that oh another one does it have anything in it already That's up here. I'll only be able to really use this after I take out that sniper. This is a floor up, kind of above where everything else is. I think these windows are bulletproof because of the hatching. I didn't set my timer at the right time, so we'll explore a little bit more before starting to head back. I'd like take a peek out here. This guy that patrols over the bridge, we might be able to get the sniper but they shoot, like they hit really hard, so let's just one use one of these to top ourselves off. That guy's patrolling back. Yeah, then we can probably start heading to the sniper. Yeah, let's grab our trap if we... Let's actually, I guess, quickly head to the... Not sure if that... I still don't know if it'll get me. Let's just drop our stuff off real quick and... There should be another sniper on that side, I'm pretty sure. Just so we can... Grab some stuff. I guess the MRE one in our hot bar. I 
just had something else to break down. break down all those caution signs because I like grabbing them. Maybe you can grab this floodlight. Might be nice. Honestly, maybe even just the spear and shield. Oh, one shot him. I swear I was getting shot at from the opposite direction as well. Like there was two out here. It's quite excited. Find cover. Just got the sniper thing. So we've killed two before this one. Yeah, these don't stack either. Just I don't know. I guess we'll just head back for now and we'll come back here and loot again and explore some more in the next episode. We won't go that way. Next episode, we'll continue exploring the same area. Can't wait for this to get fixed so we can just take this way down. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're just starting. Notice me even though I rammed him. Life at gate can be demanding, so it's important to remember that resting is key to staying. Simply taking a moment to sit down, even on the floor, Man, we did a lot of damage with the cart. While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying down for a short nap is the optimal way to getting back to physical condition. Getting adequate so, rest I'll send this episode here and put stuff away and, and set up those signs and whatnot, but thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.